like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Je- my wife, Jesse always makes me laugh. Literally before we're on uh, every, every Thursday, four o'clock. Hey everybody, I'm so glad that you guys could join because what we have today is something really, really fun. Of course, I'm gonna be using a PowerXL air fryer today. This is my PowerXL air fryer oven. This um, sort of changed the game with air fryers a few years ago. You know, they were just egg shapes. And then, um, you know, with the drawer, which they're great and everybody loves them. Uh, but then we kind of changed the game by turning it into an oven and giving it shelves so you could cook more of the food you love with less fat because you're air frying, you're frying with air instead of oil, which is always a good thing. All right, what are we making today? We're making what's called a Dutch baby. It is the cutest name for uh, breakfast slash dessert I think I've ever heard. Dutch baby, not ice baby, not ice, ice no, baby. I knew you were getting I good. know, I had to do it. I'm from the 80s. I was like about that. to do it, and then you stole my life. Everybody's thinking ice, ice baby. And vanilla ice, if you're out there, you would like a Dutch and baby And you did too. just say we're going to make a baby today, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that could those, be misconstrued. <laughs> those days are over. <laughs> our, our babies are giant now. Anyway, yes. uh, so uh, again, it's, it's a Dutch baby. Now, what I love about Dutch babies is it's sort of like an oven pancake. So, but it's not just an oven pancake. It's also like, picture this, somebody, somebody said this and I think it's perfect. If a crepe had a baby with a pancake, it would be a Dutch baby. There and you I, go. I think that that's the best that's way to the describe best. it. Yes. So I have one that just literally finished while they were rolling that fantastic intro. So you're gonna get to see that. It's just gonna set up in here for one second. So let's get right into the recipe because it's so easy. It could almost be a toss and go. Okay, what do I do first? First, I take an uh, eight inch bake pan or whatever oven proof vessel that fits in your air fryer. So, you know, there's a lot of different air fryers, a lot of different sizes. Uh, This is about just a little bit under an eight inch pan. It has no handles. If you get bakeware without handles, it's a great thing for your air fryer because you can actually fit Um, normal size pieces in, especially like the air fryer oven. So I melted butter in there, four tablespoons of butter, that's a half a stick. So this is hot right now. Then to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of chopped walnuts and three tablespoons of brown sugar. That goes right into the butter. I mean, we could stop right there because this is- I have a feeling we're gonna get some yums. Yeah, this is going to be really good. All right. (laughs) So what you're going to do is just kind of work this in. And, you know, your brown sugar always clumps up a little bit. It's what it does. You just work it. it, it, uh, You can pound it into submission. (laughs) It it will listen to you as long as the butter is warm. And honestly, it doesn't even have to be uh, incredibly perfectly smooth. Because what we're doing is we're literally just incorporating the brown sugar and the walnuts. Okay. To that, we add about, eh, it's about two medium apples. Uh, You just kind of dice them. Uh, I leave the skin on. I I love the skin of the apple. I don't see any reason why you should take it off while you're baking. Didn't you tell me most of the nutrients are found in the skin? Well, that's what somebody told me. Well, there you go. must be true. (laughs) One of my favorite people in the world said, hey, listen, I'm your chef. I'm not your doctor. (laughs) But anyway, so now we have a delicious combination of brown sugar, walnuts, butter, and apples. That is amazing right there. But what we're going to do now is we're going to make the batter for what we call the Dutch baby. It's kind of like a souffle um, without being difficult. Does that make sense? All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take four eggs and I'm just going to blend it. You can whip it. You can do it by hand. I'm doing it in the blender because I think it's a little bit faster for these live demonstrations. You don't want to watch me painstakingly use my whip. (laughs) So that's four eggs and um, about three quarter cups of milk. Now I always put the wet in first when I use the blender. Uh, You'll see why in a second. Uh, Now we're going to go to the dry, a pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of just regular, regular old sugar. Now, the other thing that we're going to add to this is three quarters cup of regular old flour and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now, the baking powder is not traditional. I did that on purpose 
because I wanted it to stay set up a little bit longer for people. A traditional Dutch baby, it rises and then it falls. And then I think, I think you'll appreciate this when you do it. Okay, so uh, cinnamon, about a quarter teaspoon. Now, what is a quarter teaspoon, eighth of a teaspoon? It's just a pinch. You know what, what's nice about flavorings in baking, it doesn't matter if you overdo it, if you like the flavor. It's really just the flour, the eggs, the baking powder. That's the really important thing. I like nutmeg, so I put a little bit more in. So about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. You can do less or more depending on how much you like it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop this on the blender. And we don't want to over blend it. What we want to do is we just want to incorporate everything. And it'll literally take three seconds. So. You can see all the ingredients are coming together. Now, if I put the flour in first, the flour uh, would stick to the bottom of the blender. We don't want that. That's it. That's all you need. Even if you're doing it by hand, you don't want to overwork it. So now, Jess, if you could come in here, I want to show you sure. what's already in here. Remember, I melted the butter. Then I put in the brown sugar, the apples, and, um, Not me cinnamon. and the cinnamon. There we go. And that's it. Is that the easiest batter you've ever seen in your entire life? Wait, that's all you do? Jessica, that's all you do. Wow. So what we do now is we take this and we put it in the air fryer at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now, if you're using like a longer, flatter vessel, 20 minutes is definitely going to be for you. If you're using um, like a more shallow, uh, a wider vessel, um, that makes it deeper, then you're going to want maybe an extra five minutes. So don't worry about it. What I would do is start with 20. If you're using an eight inch pie pan, that's probably going to be perfect. If, if you happen to be able to have a vessel where you can, you're at nine inches, maybe you want to go 25 minutes. It's going to be fine either way. Trust me. So this would go right into the air fryer and then with the magic of did social media. Did you just media. slam my favorite appliance? I did. <laughs> I did because, you know, you know what I always like to say? And I think I like it more than everybody else. I always like to say, I, I want to pound the food with flavor. Because, you know, a lot of times you can make things that are bland. You can make things, you know, you put in nice ingredients, but it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. I always like to make sure you pound your food with flavor whether you're doing it in your air fryer or your pressure cooker or your oven or your skillet, whatever it might be, I think just going the extra mile with the flavors will really pay dividends at the end. And that's why we made the Dutch baby with apples and cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, most classic Dutch babies are literally just the batter, just the batter, and then they take it out and, and put some cinnamon sugar on it. Like a crepe. Like a crepe, and that's delicious. But I wanted to pound it with flavor, so I said it one more time. So, I'm going to take this out, so we're going to take a drum roll. Now, truth be told, I didn't even look at this yet because you uh -oh. really can't open the door. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't open the door before it's, pretty. it's cooked. It's a look girl. how pretty that is. It's a girl. <laughs> it's, girl. <laughs> it's a beautiful Dutch baby. <laughs> look how to the cute family, that is. Dutch so, baby. you can see it's kind of, um, so as it cooks, it kind of rises in the middle and then falls. And then you get this beautiful sort of cratering on the inside. And of course, I think that's beautiful. And it's supposed to do that. Now, soufflés, you worry it'll fall. Right. But this, you right. want it, it's actually supposed to fall. Exactly, it? Jessica. Yeah, I know. I did now, some reading. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that looks good. Don't do what I just did because customer service will literally destroy me. <laughs> now, I'm just going to invert it because I like the other side better. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Now, there is your. Dutch baby, pounded with flavor, air fried to perfection. A lot of people say, hey, can you bake in an air fryer? Well, look what I just did. Okay, so what do we do when we finish up our Dutch baby? There's so many ways you can eat this, you guys. So this is more like a breakfasty brunch Dutch baby, but you could do savory too. You could skip the apples and walnuts and then you could do some eggs and bacon or ham and bacon and cheddar. You could add all of that stuff to this and I'm telling you it would be amazing no matter how you did it. That would be a little bit more like a Yorkshire pudding. We're going to get into that another day. So the way I like to serve this is uh, some confectioner sugar. 
Look at that. Oh. Don't be cheap. <laughs> That's what you always say. Don't be cheap with the confectioner's sugar. I hate that. A lot of times they just like to sprinkle yeah. the outside. Come on. Come yeah. on. That's so not Jess. you. I know. Come on. I know. And then what we're going to do. Go big or go home. That's you. Yeah. We're going to put some maple syrup Ooh, right in the middle. I like that idea. Yum. And then let me get my big knife. Mm. I got the big knife. Oh, yeah. Look at this. That looks really yummy. There is your Dutch baby. Wow. Dripping with delicious flavors. It's a classic. Um, we were cracking up because every time I do, every time I do live on Thursday, a lot of times what we do is we do things that have been around forever. And I always say, you know, why are we doing a Dutch baby today? Or why are we doing um, a shepherd's pie? Because it's a tale as old as time. And whenever I say it's a tale as old as time, I start thinking of that song. Don't make me sing. <laughs> you know how Don't hard it is right now not to bust into so song? It's so hard not to do it, but oh I'm not going to do gosh. it. I'm not going to do it. Not, it's in here, but I'm not going to do it. So I hope you guys will try the Dutch baby. Jess, who's out there today? Oh, boy. Lots of, lots of excited people. Excited? Um, are they? <laughs> Cheryl Prince um, it says she loves your toss and go cookbook. She got it. And she does. She does one recipe every week or every day. Cheryl, you know, how to, you know how to get to my heart. Yep. Thank you. It's still available. It's available on Amazon, uh, QVC, uh, Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, everywhere. Thank you. If you like to cook quick in a pressure cooker, slow cooker, like the PowerXL Combo, which is the best slow cooker in, in the world, you can uh, have fast, easy, delicious recipes. Gina Brogan said, breakfast for dinner, I'm in. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, Arlene Grow said, this looks delicious. And Arlene, that's my mom's name. Yeah. Lynn Stewart says, yum. There, we got our yum that we were waiting for. Yum. Um, Victoria says, she has that book and loves it. Oh, Vicky. We Thank have, you. Um, oh boy, we have Paula Buccia says, hi. <laughs> Anita Alvarez hey, Paula. says, hi. Hi, Anita. Uh, Luwada Green from Vancouver, Washington says hello. Oh, Vancouver. Uh, Terry Provovich said she can't picture you not laughing. Remember earlier <laughs> you said that I always make you laugh at the beginning of the show? Well, Terry. Um, you do laugh a lot. Maybe you need to talk to my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not always laughing, that's for sure. No. Uh, Vanessa Lou says, welcome to the family, Dutch baby. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna name it a Dutch Yoda. Oh. Because we're watching that Mandalorian show right now, and well, I'm telling but you. Well, he's Baby Yoda. I know, Baby Yoda, a Dutch Baby Yoda. I, I'm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll. I'll, I'll make, it, make green it green somehow. But that is the cutest creature I've ever seen. And for guys to be like, oh man, that's so cute. Like it, it literally melts you down. Uh, we have someone who loves your spatula. I just uh -huh. had to call All that right. out. Thanks, Ma. Listen, whoever said that, Lynn, I want to Lynn thank you. Stewart. Lynn Stewart? Yeah. Lynn, thank you, because my mother hates these. <laughs> <laughs> she said no one's going to take you serious if you have a smiley That's what face. She said. But I have a million of them, and I use them all the time. And I bought them when the kids were little. And uh, just because I wanted them to cook with me, they never really did. But they did like the spatulas, so... Okay, we have uh, another Arlene, Arlene Craft. What's Bell. going on with all these Arlenes? Her husband's driving, she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's Betty, the best way yeah, to be a passenger. Awesome. Betty says, can you cook bacon on the side with that? Of course you could. Oh, Betty, That please. sounds really yummy. You know what? Bacon with apples and cinnamon and nutmeg and syrup? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Yeah. I mean, that... That would work. <laughs> that works. I mean, bacon works with anything. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we have one question. Um, yeah. Tanya Crowling, can hey, this Tanya. be cooked in a traditional oven? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. What I would do in, in a traditional oven is I would take it up 25 degrees at least because the air fryers cook hotter. It's, a, it's more confined. Of course, the fan is much bigger. It blows a lot more air. So if you have a convection on your oven, great. If you don't, I would go up probably a, a, good, a good five or so minutes, maybe, maybe even 10. Yeah. You can kind of tell when they're done. Yeah, I'm yeah, you, you'll look at it. Once it gets nice and see how it craters here, once it starts cratering and you can kind of see that it's set up. The only thing with these is don't open the door because once you open the door, you're going to lose all your heat. Yeah. And then Gary, uh, 
Delorio said, I never baked in my air fryer before, but I am now. And he's all excited. You got to start with the Dutch yeah. baby. And hey, <laughs> you know what? If you want to make a classic one, just leave out the apples and the, the uh, walnuts. Mm. And uh, put whatever you, topping put you whatever want. Put whatever you want on whipped it. Whipped cream, chocolate chips. Oh, whipped cream, everything. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm Mary so Tan right now. said, I'm starving. Mary Tan said, bacon makes everything better. You know what? Bacon and butter, right? I mean, they both start with B. There's nothing that's better than bacon and butter. Uh, Joe Kalvig says, I'm thinking about upgrading to the oven air fryer. I guess she has the bucket one. Oh, yeah. The littler one. So you know what's nice? You, you can just fit a lot more in here. And you can see, like, um, even my pan. Let me just show you my pan. Yeah. So uh, this pan fits right in here. So that's nice. But this pan also fits into, like, uh, the five-point, uh, three-quart, um, basket style air fryer oven from Power Excel. So, you know, once you get up past the 3.4s, once you get into the five quarts, even the baskets, there are vessels. If they're oven proof, they're air fryer proof. And I just want to point out this only has one shelf in it right now, but normally you could have even up to five shelves in right. it. So right. So you can do a lot of things. So in, I, in I put this on the bottom because you don't want it to burn. If you yeah. get too far up when you're baking, you want to put it as far down as possible. That's all. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I, I think I called out most of our fans here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well, hey, you guys. Listen, thanks for joining. I, um, I love these Dutch babies. They're, they're nice to make for your family on a Sunday morning because, you know, you could see this is easily a lot of food for four. Uh, you could serve six. It's a lot of food for four. And if you do it for two, you'll, you'll have some leftovers, unless you're really hungry. And um, next week... We are going to do something very fun, so I hope you're going to join us then. I also hope, I'm going to be on vacation uh, the week of July 4th, but I'm going to do the live uh, from there because I want to do something really beachy. I'm just going to be at the Jersey Shore, I'm a Jersey boy, and we're going to do some something fun with uh, seafood and pasta. And don't forget to like and share. Oh yeah, if yes. you guys wouldn't mind would liking awesome. and sharing my video on your wall so you can refer back to it. Or maybe you could share it and, and friends on your wall can, can see it and enjoy it. Or try a Dutch baby because it's a tale as old as time. So I'll see you guys next Thursday, I hope, 4 p.m. Don't let me down. Bye, guys.